What's up y'all, Sparty here, and I want to do a versus video between the LG G6 and the LG V20. Now, how I would detail this specifically is I would essentially call the LG G6 <laughs> an LG V20 Mini in a lot of cases. Now, given the fact that this I've only had this phone for a day, I'm not going to go through like, I can't give you guys complete detail with everything, but I'm going to go with a lot. I'm going to go with stuff that <clears throat> I'm going to go into detail with stuff that I know so far. And to start out, I'm going to go with the build quality and just the overall build of each phone. So the LG G6 is an, a glass on glass with metal construction. Kind of how you used to see with like the iPhone and how you see with the Galaxy, the Galaxy phones now as well as the HTC U Ultra and whatnot. And I got to say, this is a really beautiful design. It, it looks nice, especially with that that kind of like brushed metal look you can kind of see when you shine it in the light. You guys can't probably can't see it on camera, but I can see it. <laughs> and it looks really nice. You can probably see it right there. It looks really sick. <laughs> and <laughs> you have your dual mega you you have your dual 13 megapixel cameras on the back with your LED flash. You have your fingerprint slash power button. So you can wake the screen whenever you want to wake it. Let me turn this screen down, actually. You can wake the screen whenever you want to without necessarily unlocking the phone. You can also double tap it as well. Now, it has that bit of delay because I have two, ta two taps set to on the same pretty much to be in the same area. So just make sure I'm not trying to do my not code. Same with this as well. And you have your always on display right here. And it gets it gets fairly bright, pretty much like the it gets brighter than it did on the G5. And it gets as bright, if not a bit brighter than it does on the V20. Without with minimal light bleed, it does have it when you like say you like take it from like a resting position right here. Like normally, depending on the lighting situation, it'll get bright, then it'll dim out real quick. And it'll just look pretty. It looks pretty dark and it looks nice. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's using an LCD display, which it is. And you have your five megapixel wide angle lens on the front. You have your proximity sensor on here, so you cover it. It'll, the display will turn off. You have your LG branding on the bottom, which is very, like, minimal. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't detract from the look of the phone. In fact, it pretty much complements it. And you also have your G6 branding on the back with no carrier branding if you get the T-Mobile version. Pretty much if you don't get a T-Mobile, if you, if you don't get, like, an AT&T or Verizon version, you won't get or cricket, you won't get any character car character carrier branding. Now with the V20, you have your dual you have your dual cameras on the back. One is 16 and one is eight. You have your um, color depth and your laser autofocus sensors. You have your LED flash. Sorry, I'm getting fucking notifications. <laughs> you have your fingerprint scanner on the back. Your V20 branding with this metal construction, which I like a lot as well. You have your latch right here, your button to take off the back so you can remove the battery. And you can't do it on here, which is whatever. I can actually get over it. This has a 3,200 milliamp hour battery. This has a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. So a slight bump. And I, and I can say I could actually see the difference. Like... Say if I'm at like 99% on here within like an hour, within like an hour and 30 minutes, I'll be on 99 on here. Still, there's pretty much 
LG has always been very good with battery optimization as well as the Nougat optimizations that are under the hood in Android. So you can pretty much expect that. You have your 5 megapixel wide angle camera on here as well. You have your secondary display on here which gives you your notifications. You have your LG branding on here. You have your only, pretty much your only two plastic parts of the phone, which are the top and bottom right here. <laughs> and you have your NFC right in here under the, um, it's literally right in the battery door. <laughs> it's right, it's right here. It's this right here. Now, obviously, when you go with an aluminum phone, you don't get wireless charging, but this has wireless charging as well as IP68 water and dust resistance, and it works fairly. It works well. Like, I used it in the shower earlier, and sure, the um, speaker got hit with some water, and it got muffled for a bit, but it got back to where it was when I previously used the speaker, and it works very, very well. These both have bottom firing speakers, and they both, I haven't tested them yet, but they both sound very good. They sound very nice. And as you guys can see, the G6 is <laughs> its a pretty thick phone. And that's not a bad thing. It's like a bit thicker, and I like that. I like that it's a thicker phone because my only issue with the V20 is that it's a thin phone and it also has this camera bump so I can't necessarily use it without the fearing of dropping it and cracking the camera lens. And I know when the V20 early on it had the issue of people easily cracking it. I've never had that issue. I've always I've always kept like the plastic like the plastic protector that's on there. I've kept it on there ever since I got the phone. Not that that has really done anything to like keep it safe, but I'm just saying. All right, now let's get into the overall like size comparison and whatnot of the phones. Let me um turn this down as well. All right, so on both phones, you have a 5.7 inch quad HD display. The only real difference is this is 20. 880 by 1440 and this is 2560 so you get a little bit more resolution and a higher ppi i'm not sure how much ppi i think it's like 540 something or something while this is like 535 or something i'll check actually right now so i can give you guys an actual and i'm not gonna do the Google Assistant thing because it might actually activate on my G4 as well. Um, LG G6 PPI. Damn, it has 564 PPI. <laughs> the G6 has 564 pixels per inch. And the V20 has... 513. So this has 513. This has 564. They're both 5.7 inch displays. The only difference is this is an 18 by 9 or 2 to 1 ratio, aspect ratio, and this is a 16 by 9. So you get, <laughs> so you essentially get the same size screen just in a tall, a tall phone, but it's a smaller body and it's more pocketable and it's more easy to hold in the hand as you guys see here. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't have a problem with the V20 being as wide as it is. I never really did, as a lot of people try to say it's like too big of a phone. I, I personally don't think that way, but maybe it's because I'm used to big phones. So I'm going to go around the user interface here a little bit and show you guys exactly the differences between both. But first, I'm going to test the fingerprint scanners for you guys here. And show you guys. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hit it really good on the V20 here. As you guys can see, they're pretty consistent. They're pretty much the same. LG makes fast fingerprint scanners ever since the G5 last year, so I don't necessarily have any issue with 
how they work and how they operate. I personally like that it's also a power button as well. So I don't have to like double tap the screen constantly and able to turn it off. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to go around the user interface real quick. And they both run on Android 7.0 Nougat. Let me just double check if this isn't actually on 7.1 because it might be. I don't know. I can't see with this dim display. <laughs> Android version. Yep. 7. Yeah, 7.0. Both on the latest security patches, I believe. And what I'm going to do now is I'm, I haven't even, I haven't enabled developer options on this phone yet. I don't really use it. So. <laughs> Looking for build number. I always forget where it's at. It's not in here. I was just in there. Software info. Okay. I know it's on here too. I know I have it enabled on here because I I typically use this to show you guys the lag fact, how much it lags and how much it stutters and whatnot. Not necessarily lag, but uh, let me find the uh, it's regularly at the bottom. Uh, it's GP profile GPU rendering on screen as bars. Sorry if you see a bit of my face <laughs> or the side of my face with these dim ass displays because I have them turned down pretty low. You guys probably can't notice it because it's still pretty bright, but. Uh, let me um as you guys can see when I swipe that swipe through here on the v20 it does lag it does stutter a bit more it has a bit more dropped frames while on here it's more like consistent with lower dropped frames but it still feels pretty smooth as I've always said like normally when it if it, so long as it's not way the fuck up there and you could actually feel it, it doesn't necessarily matter to me. We're pretty much done with the days of like super laggy Android phones. So that's pretty much it as far as lag goes. They're both very smooth. They both are very reliable. I don't, I don't really have a problem with like, I, I never have a problem. What the fuck? <laughs> I never have a problem with like opening and closing apps and like apps closing in the background or anything like that. As I said, they're both smooth. They're both fluid. LG has always had a pretty good skin when it comes to like fluidity and whatnot. And I'm just opening, opening random apps so I can show you guys um, what I mean by it not necessarily being a big deal when it comes to, I don't know why I opened MKX. I don't want to open games quite yet. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys here real quick. Um, oh shit. This basically is to show, like, if you ever make a mistake on, like, open an app you don't want to open, it'll take a fairly less amount of time for you to um, open the app <laughs> and close it at the same time. I don't know why I'm getting voicemails, but, <laughs> like, it'll... Like, as I said, it'll take less time for you to open and close the app and get back to find the app that you want. Now, 
the difference between the user interface. This is LG user interface UX 5.6.0. This is 5 plus. Now what you do, now there are no app drawers on any on the stock launchers that come on here, but you can like as you as you guys know, you can just like go to display, go to home screen, you go to select home and you'll see home and app drawer right right in there. And it'll be like that on here too. And you'll just be able to change it like this. But on here, what you can do, if you want to get to your apps quick and you don't necessarily care that it doesn't have an app drawer, you can swipe down. What the fuck? Oh, it's probably because that widget's getting in the way. <laughs> you can swipe down. And, it'll, and as you guys can see, it'll show apps. It'll show the apps that you've most recently opened right there, but you can click more. And it'll give you a whole list of every app that you have on your phone. And I like that. I don't necessarily care about not having the app drawer. If I did care, I'd go back to it. But ever since the G5, I've pretty much gotten used to not having an app drawer. So it's whatever to me. I don't know why I cut the fucking display off. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick test of... Um, of speed with games and whatnot. I don't necessarily have. Oh, I have Future Fight on both of them, so I'm gonna load Future Fight on both of these. But keep in mind, I have to load them separately because if I try to load them on one, it won't load on the other. Because it's under the same account. <laughs> And I'd use Bleach Brave Souls, but it's not well optimized for the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. And even with um and even with like being able to scale the apps, which I'll show you guys in a minute, it won't go it won't go to 18 by 9. I'm not paying $35 for nothing. If I'm not gonna do that for a console game, what makes you think I'm going to do that? Period. <laughs> the fuck? Level 60? I mean, all my characters are level 60. <laughs> and after this, I'll show you guys why I call this an, an a V20 Mini. But I'm going to raise the, raise that a bit. Oh, shit. Now, this has a Snapdragon 821 processor, which is a quad core processor, eight, I was about to say eight gigabytes, eight gigs of RAM, no, four gigabytes of RAM. And the V20 has a Snapdragon 820 <laughs> with four gigabytes of RAM. And what people said that it was a mistake for LG to release this, to reveal this this early, I don't think it is. The 821 is a very competitive chip and it runs well. It isn't like going from like, the Snapdragon 808 to the 820. It's not that. <laughs> Essentially, it's just more power efficient. And sure, the um, 835 is an eight core chip, but I don't really care. And as you guys can see, it runs. It runs fairly well on here. I don't know why I'm closing fucking apps. But I may as well just close them. <laughs> uh, boom. Sorry, it's hard for me to see when the display is that low. <laughs> Have I seen any like performance difference? Like very little. Like nothing is very like 
Nothing is like league smoother or faster on here than it is on here. Keep in mind, this is barely like, this isn't even like, a, <laughs> this came out October, November, September, January, February, March. It's, a, it's not even a six month old phone. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll turn this down too. Now, Future Fight is not necessarily the best optimized game either when it comes to, like, Android phones for some reason. Which is why you'll typically see that stutter, unless you have a Huawei phone. <laughs> a high, higher-end Huawei phone. But as you guys can see, they're running fairly... They run fairly consistently. Nothing is necessarily... not One is not beating out the other in anything, really, right here. I'm going to just let this get cleared out. I was about to say, where's Sif? But she's supposed to be helping me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, what else to talk about? Cameras. As you guys can see, when it comes to, like, <laughs> the camera bulge, there's literally no bulge on here. Literally no bulge, whereas there is on here. But as I've said with, like, my L one of my LG G V20 videos, that there's no, like, wobble. So that... <laughs> Unless you like literally push down so hard on one side, which you you usually won't. And as dual 13 megapixel cameras, f1.8, f2.4, both. This is a wide angle. This is a regular angle. LED flash. And why I call this a mini V20 is um for the simple reason that so you guys can get a full view and it focuses fairly well is that you get the manual photo mode like you would normally get but you also get manual video mode which allows you to record Pretty much the same way that you do on the V20. The only difference here is, is that on here, you don't have the mic, the mic direct, the mic directing, you know? I'll show you guys here real quick. So you don't have like the mic direction stuff that you do on the V20. But they have the same like quality mics. It's just that there aren't as many mics on here that there are on here. And that's pretty much the only difference, really. And it also has the HD audio recorder that you have on the V20. And when I saw that, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and I've used the HD audio recorder on here a lot. Like I used it for my other channel for like gameplay and whatnot. And essentially they're literally the same app. <laughs> the only real difference is, is that a lot of some controls are up in the, are up on the um, second screen and the controls to get to like, you know, a different setting are in a hamburger menu on the side over here. That's pretty much it. Like, I haven't played with this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's this, it's going to do the exact same quality. Because a lot of, like, reviewers have said that 
they're pretty, the mics are high quality on the G6. Actually, I'm a test right now. I'll put them at the at a similar level as they are on my V20. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let me turn the um turn this up. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the same on here too. Um testing, testing, one, two, three. No oh, wait, no. I forgot I don't even have the volume up. I don't want to play it yet, damn it. <laughs> damn it, wrong volume. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, they sound exactly the same. <laughs> so if you want, essentially, if you want a smaller V20, you can go with the G6 because they have literally a lot of the same software, but if you value being able to like change the the um, mic direction so that you can get certain more sound out of a certain area than others, I'd say go with the V20 because you'll get it out of there. I'm glad that they finally made it so that there's no longer software differentiation, it's hardware. And that's the best part about it. Because now there's a reason to get both. <laughs> You know, the G6 is just a bastardized V-series phone now. Now it's its own phone, but with V-series features that matter, you know, <laughs> that really do matter. You know, I, the manual video mode matters to me. I like it a lot, as well as the manual photo, as well as the mic, the HE auto recorder, all that stuff matters to me. And headphone jack quality it's definitely not as good as it is on here, but it's actually very, it's actually pretty good. You know, since, especially since you're not getting that quad DAC in the States as you are in, um, you are in Japan, not Japan, Korea. <laughs> so that's very good. It's, it's pretty good regardless. Like if, like, You'll get better sound out of here probably that, than you'll get out of the S8 since it's not going to have its own dedicated DAC and amp. It's probably still going to use the 835's like dedicated DAC in there, which is whatever. Samsung tends to like fiddle a lot with software when it comes to that stuff, so it's whatever. And sorry for making this a very long video. I just want to detail stuff for you guys that matter with these two phones. Battery life. All right, so earlier today, let's say I got up at um eight. I got up at like maybe seven thirty. I had this phone off the charger then because I was charging my V twenty. It was on a it was on a hundred for about an hour and twenty three minutes. Then I had to help my um uncle move some stuff. And that went from like nine to like twelve thirty. And I didn't take a screenshot. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't think about it. <laughs> and um it pretty much and it was on like at least like eighty percent by the time I got back home. And I put it back on the charger then, but it's whatever. It still held charged fairly well. And as you guys can see right now. It's on 86%. Unfortunately, I got to go all the way into settings to get to the battery. Maybe if I, I could probably try and find a, um, a way to get a shortcut on there, but we'll see. It's been off the charger for an hour and 16 minutes. And I've been using my screen for 49 of those minutes. So it says I'll have like five hours and seven minutes left, which is like seven hours. But depending on how much I use my phone, it'll, I'll probably make it last more than that.
And on the V20, it's the same story. This phone, as you guys have known from previous content on my channel, has superb battery life. I can't necessarily say about this, but I'm pretty much expecting the same thing. Especially since it has more battery on it. Oh, shit, sorry. I kind of expect it to have a bit more better battery life. And it's going to be nice, you know. It's going to be real interesting seeing what this does as far as battery life goes. Not that I'm ever going to give up my V20, because I'm not, because it has the very trusty IR blaster, which is something that I value, despite the fact that I still have my G4. And this doesn't, which sucks, but since I have phones with IR blasters, I can get over it. <laughs> so, a final verdict. Would I say that I would pick the G6 over the V20? No, I wouldn't say that. Because they technically still have the same processor, essentially, despite the fact it's A21 and A20. It's just a higher clocked A20 is what the A21 is. This has a, a higher resolution main camera, which is whatever, but I value, uh, if I can get more megapixels out of a camera, I'll take it. <laughs> but I'm glad that the, but it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like opposites clashing here. This has a lower resolution megapixel camera than the wide, both wide angles are different, eight and 13. 13 and 16 so it's kind of it's kind of hard in that position but if you don't care that it's 16 and that they're both they're both at least the same size then you can go with the g6 i'm still keeping my g6 i'm not trying to say that oh the g6 is trash because it's not i like this phone a lot so far not enough to give you guys an in-depth review but enough to be like it's good it's good so far I really enjoyed all the stuff that it offers. <laughs> but the V20 is still going to be my main phone. Hell, it's still on my main line. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go more into depth with, depth, depth with certain things like gaming, um, customization, and stuff like that. I'm going to go more in depth. As I said, like I did with my V20. I'm going to go more in depth with stuff like that, as well as like video recording and stuff like that. While I'm walking to get something to eat, which is pretty soon, I might just do that while I do that. <laughs> just so you guys can see and get a sample of what it's like. And as I said, I don't mind the move to glass so long as it adds features and it it offers wireless charging, which is cool. I don't really care for wireless charging, but I'll take it if I can get it. <laughs> um, this has a... Overall, this the, the V20 feels more sturdy. It really does. Not saying that this feels cheap. The G6 definitely doesn't. But metal just, aluminum metal just feels more sturdy to me. It depends on the grade of aluminum and metal as well. But this is why I really like how thick this band is. Because it really feels nice to hold. And there's no seams or anything. Like you can't see anything that would like detract you from the foam. Like, hell, my homie's about to get it, too. I hope he gets it in a different color than I did, but, you know, it's whatever. If he doesn't, we'll have different cases. <laughs> and, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as this goes. I'll cover more. Oh, one more thing. The buttons and whatnot. I, I honestly prefer the buttons that are on the G6, the volume buttons. Now, this is a very minor thing. It really is. But it really matters. Like, you can't hear them click, like, a lot, but they're fairly clicky. They don't feel terrible to click or anything like that. 
They don't on the V20 either. Like a lot of people have said that they do, but for me, they don't. Like I have used these buttons quite a bit and they don't feel shitty to click or anything like that. It's just these feel better because they're two separate buttons and they're not a part of like one strip <laughs> like they are right there. But as I said, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get that minor thing out of the way. And uh, another oh, crap. One more gripe. I do not like the fact that the headphone jack's on the top. I prefer it. I much prefer it on the bottom. Because it just feels weird, you know? It feels weird to hold your phone and have a fucking cord hang down here like that. It feels weird. Plus, it, like, may get in the way of the screen and shit like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> it's not It's not enough to make me, like, dock points from the G6, but it's, it's a minor grievance that I'm willing to comp that I'm willing to, you know, take and talk about because it's not anything that's like terrible, but it's enough to like make me think about it and be like, God damn, I can't even I can't take this. <laughs> but yeah. This has been Sparta. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.